Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization V. When we left off, I had all the machinery running around, we were at war with Maya, not much going on. I, uh, was talking to a friend of mine who knows a lot about the Maya, and they said that the plural of Maya is Maya, so I'm going with that. This one can't escape, so Swordsman's gonna get more XP. Not enough to level, but definitely getting closer. Alright. Ah, more missionaries to kill. Well, I, uh, was playing a little bit for... The press is the best instrument for enlightening the mind of man and improving him as a rational, moral, and social being. All right, we have machinery. And this is awesome. I was playing a bit on my own between episodes, testing a few things out. It's been a little while since I played. And, uh... I was mostly testing how religion and some other things work. And I figure out, it's like, oh, I haven't played this in so long, I'm doing a lot of stupid things. One thing I forgot was, um, once you convert a city to a religion, it is a lot harder to convert it to a different religion. And this is not just mathematically in terms of, oh, this religion, you need the two cities to put pressure, two other cities to put pressure on it. There's a lot more to it than that, which is mostly, it's mostly a case of, this is, it takes a lot more effort to convert somebody from one religion that they're already following to a different one. Essentially, is what the math comes down to. Ah, minor victory. If I bombard them. Nope. Nope. So, let's attack and get a little more XP. They have Drill 1 and they have Medic, so they're healing faster. Should probably do something about that, but... We actually could if we moved to here. We would heal faster from right here. But then they'd be able to get away from us and that. Would they? Not really. But. I think. I mean, I hit alert for a couple of turns. And this archer is going to come up on this hill and not see anything. The scout, I'm sure, is moving somewhere. And Monaco. Okay, we need to... They want a great musician, which we can't get yet, and they want a road connected between our capitals. I have thinking, and we want a city up here. We want a city right here so we can go do stuff overseas, which is important. But we might also want a city right here, right in this area. 
which, yes, is very close to Budapest and Monaco and will be cutting into their territory. But it also gets us a lot of jungle tiles. If we put one right here, then the optimal route is here and then up for road, which means we only have to add two more tiles to a route to Monaco. So, increasing the cost by two tiles, or perhaps even just routing from here to here, then going up into there, seems like a pretty good idea. Well, that does put us a little closer to India than I would like. On the other hand, well, Monaco now has a whole lot of religious pressure on it. We also really need to get to theology. Just so we can build the Grand Temple and get that double religious pressure emanating from this city. We already get 7.5 because of our... Um, bonus, it would be nice to see that raised even further. Oh, I got 20 back, and they got 20 back as well, that's right. And we're no longer the ally of Singapore, which means we Lose the luxuries. Alright, we will, uh... Disband this missionary. Make sure it's a, uh... Yep, it's a missionary, not of our religion, so we want to get rid of it. Move the swordsman back to our city. And now we can actually get to work. Move our worker right here. And this archer will... Hmm. Move the archer to here. All right. If I attack, I'm going to do 29 damage. They're going to do 22. They have a they have a better total modifier than I do. That's not good. But if I attack with my city, that does do enough damage to them to offset their healing. Which means I can spend another turn healing. And... This worker can come to right here. Well, I actually want to see if I can build a Brazil wood camp in on the bananas. Okay, you're done with the marsh next. Actually, you're not doing anything right now. Well, that's... Um... Yes. Is it cancel? 
And now we'll use the Route 2 mode to go to right here. And yes, that will... Ah, uh, I think I was already doing that, actually. Oh, well. Such things happen, I guess. So there's done in a couple more turns. Call my peace with... Yeah, no big deal there. No longer friends with Monaco. I need to fix that. Swordsman attack. The scout. Everything is clear here. Move over here. Things look a little better. It turns out they... Tweak the altitude acclimation so you can only get it from getting near Mount Kilimanjaro. So, I don't know if I've discovered that yet. I can't remember. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Um, I'm going to set this on alert for the moment. And you are going to build a Brazilwood camp. Now that we have machinery, this is when Brazil starts to get its advantages. And the reason I say that... Uh, can I still move you? Yes, I can. No, you cannot build a Brazil wood camp there. Okay, that's not good. Well, it's not bad, but it's... I'd rather be able to build it. Um... I think I will build a farm here. I would like Rio de Janeiro to grow fairly rapidly, if possible, and I think it is. Monaco still has a decent amount of people. I don't know how much pressure I have to apply to get a new follower in a city, but I think I'm going to get Vigi and Gara, which will help. Malacca's still going to take a while. Salvador's not going to fire. Oh. I just saw an attrition... Oh, hello. Maya Missionary. Let us open fire. Alright, Rio de Janeiro. And we have a caravan. Where can we send trade routes to? What gets us the most gold? Well, the most gold goes to Mozumkani, which... Hmm. He does get us some religious pressure from them, but we also exert religious pressure that would otherwise not be got. That is one nice thing about trade routes, is that they allow cities that are otherwise out of range. In this case, Rio de Janeiro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, is two tiles out of range of Mozenkani. But if I did send a trade route there, 
I would both receive religious pressure from them and provide religious pressure of my own. This can be extremely useful. For example, if I found this city over here, Rio de Janeiro would not be able to normally exert religious pressure, but I could use, say, a forge or a granary to send resources over there. <coughs> Excuse me. St. Tomas and Connie is worth a lot more gold. Not a lot more. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Um. Here. He has more resources that we do not. Um, he's fairly behind, so I don't think I mind giving him a little bit of science. You're going to construct a Brazilwood camp. You're going to attack. You're going to come over here. And that shows us a little more. Barbarians over there. Vancouver like natural wonder. Petra's been built. Fine. And Minya has been spotted in our territory, and that's the missionary. Which I sadly cannot intercept. At least I don't think I can. There is no way they can get to and convert my city next turn or uh, apply religious pressure to my city. So... I'm going to stay right here. And yes, the swordsman. Now 55 out of 6. I know I'm providing experience to this warrior. However. Yep. Ah, he just promoted and used it for an insta-heal. Okay. Put my. I'm going to put my swordsman on alert. I'm going to move scout over here to see a little bit more. And I'm going to have Salvador fire on this warrior and uh Buenos Aires longs for culture I believe Buena yeah Buenos Aires is a cultural city state so hmm we need to be friends with them Malaka is just going to give us happiness, which admittedly would give us culture, but they just want us to man tribute from our friend, which I'm not going to do. And that missionary is in territory that I can attack. And if they, if they want to keep wasting their faith like this, I am more than willing to let them do it. Well, they probably have a lot of faith income. They do have Jerusalem. Eh, 
Yeah. They probably have a lot of faith income. Alright then. Where's all our... Alright. Unit upkeep. Alright then. I have to disband one of these workers sooner or later. Preferably later. And losing our friendship grass on Vancouver, who... They want a natural wonder, which... I think we would need... Hmm... Don't know what we would need. And you get deleted. And the settler gets to move right here. I'll move you to right there. You're gonna go on alert again. Fortification bonus. I'm losing my friendship with Vancouver, which isn't good. I really do want to increase the amount of special well, amount of food in Rio de Janeiro. Just so I have the food to support more specialists. Because specialists are very, very good. Also, I have a lot of stuff here. And I'm kind of wondering if it's worth it to... I don't know. And we're going to get two science from this tile once we get a university, but if we chop down the... If we chop down the rainforest, we'll get some instant production, and we'll be able to build plantation, which will get us even more food. Really hard call. And, of course, we have the cost of the road. I don't know if that road increases the value of our trade routes to the city-state. I haven't actually tested that. Um, come on, Salvador. Hurry up and convert. I would like your pressure being applied to my new city. That would be nice. But we'll have to get to that next turn. I think we're at the end of the uh, next episode, excuse me, because we have reached the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Jimbo the Fuzzy. I hope to see you again next time.